get off. Okay. okay. Welcome back to Biotrack Selling. In our last video, we let go of the lines to Charleston Marina to sell Biotrack to Rhode Island where we can haul out. Two friends, Yvonne and Peter, joined us for the sale to help us out, especially with Pierre having only one arm. I was hoping to learn how to catch a striped bass during the sale. We didn't catch any fish, but Yvonne was able to show his veterinary skills because we caught something else. The winds were light when we started out, so we put the fishing rods out. The wind came up, Pierre unrolled the code D, but we decided to leave the lines out anyways, just in case we might catch something that would swim fast like a tuna. I started making lunch. So when we're at sea, I always serve it in these blue bowls. It's, it. it's a Mexican casual. It's vegetarian beyond meat, nice. rice, beans, and corn. Yvonne started rolling in the rods when I heard a commotion outside. The dog was barking, I ran out, and there was a seagull flying around with a hook in its mouth. I didn't catch it on camera because I was busy getting a towel for Yvonne and trying to get the dog out of the way. Just a split second view of the bird in the water before Yvonne got it on deck to rescue it. So, is he gonna be okay? Yeah, like yeah, it? it only got through the, the tip of the beak. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Look at it. It's back there. Yeah. Uh, I probably should have. It's probably tired, so. It's all gone, Chinner. He's like, where'd the bird go? <laughs> At the same time. Wait, that makes it go faster. Okay, okay. Go. Okay, that is, now you're in your speed. Hold, hold. Okay. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to release the yellow. So if you want to let the push back, you can. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay. Great. The dog is still waiting for the bird to come back. <laughs> That's the entrance to the canal. That's where we are right now. It's cutting the corner a bit. And, uh, the total distance 15 miles, 16 miles, until we get the address. Mile on the, on the starboard bow. I didn't catch the whales on this trip, but I have seen them previously. We rolled the head sails as we headed into the Cape Cod Canal. Getting warm? Getting warm. I'm driving.
It was getting dark when we left the Cape Cod Canal, so we headed across Buzzard Bay to drop the anchor for the night. The, the, the only thing he caught today was a seagull. We caught a seagull, and then Tiller was barking, so I didn't get it on video because I wanted to get the dog away, but your man rescued the <laughs> seagull, and it flew away. It had... What? Yeah, explain. Yeah. Basically, I just saw the, the rod pushing up instead of pushing down, yeah. and we saw a bird flying with the lure, and it got caught. Um, we, were, we were using seagull bait. Yeah, the hook the hook was through the beak, so we had to reel the the bird, which was a little bit surreal to have the the, 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 the bird flying up. Yeah. I'm sorry, you do have video of this, yes? No, we don't. Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. We could be making the whole thing up. We could. Like, <laughs> but no, we're no. not. It but is, we're not. It is real, <laughs> but, but because not. there are no videos and it's not going to be on YouTube, it might right. never if happen. It, if you know? it wasn't on YouTube, it doesn't exist. Trolls right. probably will say right. it never happened. If you if you catch a bird on a fishing pole and no one's there to see it on YouTube, did it, it ever like, happen? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I guess that's it's part the of the job, it's right? That in action, and I didn't catch it because the dog was barking, so I took the dog inside. I didn't ask you guys if you wanted bird for dinner. <laughs> the next morning was clear and cold. We hoisted the mainsail, put out the cold deed, and had a beautiful sail down Buzzards Bay. Calmer in a catamaran? Well, yeah. uh, I think yeah. that you get less tired. I don't know if the heart rate is going yeah. to be much different, but you get less tired. About the energy coefficient. Yeah. Energy you feel the same. Exhausting, yeah. yeah. Maybe your rum energy. It's There's a balance. We're, we're going to call it the RE quotient, which is the rum energy quotient. Excellent. Underfoot.
And uh, so just for the viewers to know on the video, we didn't take the video of all the excitement, but the line and after we're rolling the Genoa as That's we're true. coming close to shore. True. You can see there actually. This almost up. It's going to snap again. It's going to snap again. We did a real hasty repair. But Yvonne here, the hero, was able to pull the Genoa over <laughs> and around the, uh, I guess, the stay sail. The stay sail, yeah. yeah. It's heavy, eh? it doesn't look that heavy, but yes, it is. <laughs> Actually. Yeah, so we, so we were able to get the boat turned around before we hit shore, which was always a good thing. Now is it wind, right? Yeah. So if you want to tackle, press this two and fold. 
don't do and it. <laughs> you don't want to do it until there is a bar that fills. I saw the bar last time, yeah. And then you press this to confirm. Yeah. Now that if you put it in automatic right now. It won't do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You need to do it with these two. Oh, you can do it automatic. Yeah. yeah. So you press these two uh -huh. until the bar fills. Uh -huh. And then you confirm with this one. I love, for example, if I do this, right, I will confirm. And I will pack, but I'm not going to do it, so basically I cancel. Yeah. Okay. We and have, that's we what have the same thoughts for the pilot. That's why I know. Yeah. And that's what you get from reading the manual. Right? Read the manual. <laughs> so nice.